The True Watchman What does Scripture tell us about the watchman of Yahweh? Unless Yahweh watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. The true watchman hears from God. He who belongs to God hears what God says. John 8, 47. The true watchman is taught by God. Many are taught by men, but the true watchman is taught by God. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said. John 8, 25-26 The true watchman reads and understands God's word. For we do not write you anything you cannot read or understand. 2 Corinthians, first chapter, verse 13. The true watchman does not follow the teachings of man. Yahweh says, I am against the prophets who steal from one another words supposedly from me. Jeremiah 23, 4. 30. The true watchman warns of coming war. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel, so hear the word I speak and give them warning from me. The true watchman warns Yahweh's people to repent. The true watchman finds hostility in God's household. Yes, that's true. The prophet, along with my God, is the watchman over Ephraim. Yet snares await him on all his paths, and hostility in the house of God. The watchman of Yahweh is human. The time of the end has come. The first seal of revelation was opened in 2001, when the U.S. declared war on terror. The second seal is next. Iran, the red horse of Revelation, will take peace from the earth and cause men to kill each other. This map represents the assignments of the four colored horses of Revelation. The white horse going to the U.S. was the, fir the first seal. The second seal is the red horse, which will be Iran. The third horse, the black horse, will go to Russia, and the fourth horse, the pale horse, will go to Egypt. When each of the seals is open, the leaders and their armies will be engaged in war. The True Watchman. War is coming. Iran will take peace from the earth. Repent. Turn from the teachings and traditions of men to Yahweh in obedience.